Adapter Audio is one of my favorite developers on Plugin Alliance. Their Sculpt Compressor and Streamliner are amongst my most used plugins. That sets the bar pretty high for this new release, which is Hype. This plugin is not easy to describe in one short catchphrase. Adapter probably knows that themselves. Look at this lengthy intro. In short, the plugin gives you compression, claims to have harmonics with zero aliasing, it uses mid-side for stereo width, and it has an amazing auto gain. All of this with three different variable bands that use switchable linear phase filters for their crossovers. Hype is a sort of team up between Adapter Audio and Ursa DSP, who is responsible for the leading development and compression algorithms, hence the logo on top of the plugin. And also Chowdhury DSP, who is responsible for the harmonic algorithms. The controls on the plugin are either idiot proof one dial per module, or you can use the advanced controls. All modules in the one dial mode will give you presets to flip through for different styles of compression, harmonics and stereo width. These settings are derived from the main presets. With Hype you can effortlessly change harmonics without affecting dynamics, and vice versa. Adapter Audio put in a lot of work to ensure that. The compression works differently than a regular run-of-the-mill compressor when you enter the advanced tab. Going through the compression styles you get different attack, release and ratio settings. The middle one is a mixed dial, and what the top and bottom sliders do differ for each compression style. All of these have been set up to work fast and efficiently. The plugins are almost aliasing free thanks to the ADAA this plugin uses. That stands for Antiderivative Anti-Aliasing. This is a newer method that reduces aliasing a lot, with the benefit of not being as CPU heavy as using oversampling. It is not the perfect solution. 
adding oversampling to ADAA will still clean up aliasing more for some of these algorithms. But the noise floor rises too. Nevertheless, I would have loved to see that option in Hype. That said, the remaining aliasing with the built-in ADAA is so low you won't even notice it. These harmonics all sound very different in harmonic content and EQ, because that is also happening. I am what sets you apart. Your worst enemy. The thing that sets you free. You don't need to fight I Don't try to deny it. I'm what you wanna be. Powerful and free You're holding on too tight Let me show you how to Embrace the night Embrace the night Embrace the night Embrace the night, Embrace the night. Let me show you how to The stereo widening uses mid-side and gives you separate control for the dry and wet processed signals per band. If you want to understand better how mid-side works, I have linked an explainer video in the description of this video. Let me show you some presets created by a genius. Adapter Audio asked me to create some presets, which I did, and I only associate my name with a plugin I really like. Adapter Audio doesn't sponsor this video though, DistroKid does that. Let's start with tinkering around with hype on my voice during the sponsored segment of this video. Are you a musician looking to get your music onto popular streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music? Look no further than DistroKit and its brand new app. DistroKit makes it simple for artists to get your music out there. Plus, you'll keep 100% of the royalties you earn from your streams. Why not give it a try and see for yourself why so many artists are using DistroKit to distribute their music. Use the link in the description of this video to get 7% off of your first year on DistroKit. Now let's dive in my presets, I did 4. Kick, snare, bass guitar and drum bass. Kick first and this one sounds great on all types of bass drums. The same goes for my snare preset.
My bass guitar preset will let any direct recorded bass guitar sound like it's going through a Ampeg SVT amp. And this is what it's doing on a drum bus. Play around with the low amount and the amount of hype, which is the dry wet mix control. Hype uses a pretty awesome auto gain system. This takes a little time to catch up at first, but it auto gains like an auto gain should auto gain. Perfect match, regardless of whatever change you have made. For all other developers out there, take notice how this is done in the right way. The plugin uses around 4% on my system and the latency is 18.1 milliseconds at 48 kHz with normal usage. Enabling the linear filters will add 10 milliseconds of extra latency and a little bit of extra CPU usage. I think that adapter did a great job with hype and of course I endorse that by providing presets. Adapter Sculpt is one of my favorite compressors and you can find my video on it linked in the description below and displayed on this screen.